Hi, welcome to GenX. This is Dr. Melanie Sellers, and I'm going to be taking you through the process of when you receive your tubes and you are ready to take your samples. Here we have the GenX tube rack, which has a paper data sheet. And we also send you the electronic file, which matches. The first thing to check is that your skirt barcode on your tube rack matches the barcode on your data sheet. On this box, our skirt barcode, which is on the end here, is FE0030 And this barcode needs to match your data sheet in this position here. You can then take your tube rack and unlock it by pushing the orange tabs, click into the unlock position. This allows you to remove your lid. You can then remove the tube from the top left corner, which is in position A1, and check this tube barcode here matches the one on your tube, FR23890351. You then want to unscrew your orange tube lid and sit it back into the rack. Then you add the 70% laboratory grade ethanol, which is your fixative. You can put anything from 600 microliters to one mil of ethanol into your tubes. Here I am using a sterile pipette to transfer the ethanol into the tube. Once this is complete, Put your lid back on your ethanol stock so that it stays clean and does not get contaminated. Here I have my sterile sample equipment ready to go. The next step is to complete your data sheet. It's very important to keep a very good record of exactly what you sample. Today we are sampling larval rearing tanks, tank four. And we're going to be doing post larval stage 15 shrimp and putting 15 heads per sample tube as a pooled sample. Over here in this plastic container, I have our tank for post larvae. The water has had ice added to it to slow down their metabolism to euthanize the shrimp. We then pour our shrimp through a clean piece of paper towel to strain them and remove the water. This makes them easy to pick up with the tweezers or forceps so that we can sample the head region. Whilst we wait, I will draw you an image of what we are about to sample. Here we have our post larval shrimp head, our eye, our shrimp antennae, periapods, shrimp tail muscle, and pleopods. Sitting in here, we have our hepatopancreas, which is our digestive organ, our mouth forming into our stomach and intestine. Our lymphoid organs sit just under here. And then the gills sit across the top of the shrimp at the external surface. We cut off our shrimp head to remove the tail here using scissors in this example. And that gives us our head with all of the target organs for sensitive pattern detection using shrimp multipath. Now let's take a slow motion video of how we dissect the head from our shrimp. We remove the tail muscle, in this case, using a pair of scissors.
We then put our shrimp head into our barcoded tube, which already has our 70% laboratory grade ethanol. We're going to put a total of 15 heads in this same tube. When we're doing a pooled sample, we don't need to sterilize our scissors and tweezers between heads, which are going into the same tube. But when we change tubes to make another pooled sample, we do need to sterilize our scissors and tweezers and put out fresh sample equipment. If you'd like to see an easy explainer video on how to sterilize your scissors and tweezers, please visit the educational section of our website, genix.com. So into our tube, once we have our 15 heads, we screw the orange lid back onto the tube and then return the lid to the box and click it into the locked position. You then pack this up with your data sheet ready to send to the Genix Services Laboratories. To find out more, visit our website at genix.com or contact us today, pharmahelp at genix.com.